Hi all, I have another very exciting game to show you from the Leela Chess Forums. So Matt Blakely presents this game. So this is a 15 minutes time control with a two second increment. It's a 1070 Ti versus a four CPU setup. Leela playing white against Stockfish. This is Leela 32425. So one of the best Leela networks on the 30 network. So C4, the English opening from Leela. So Stockfish playing B6, Knight C3, Bishop B7, D4, E6. We have F3. Bishop d6, knight h3. So this means now that queen h4 check can be met with knight f2. This has been seen quite a bit before this idea of knight h3. A little bit quirky and fun. Knight e7 is played. e4, e5, bishop e3. e takes, queen takes d4, black castles, queen d2. And now Stockfish plays f5. So very aggressive play. Uh, trying to hit white centre hard, activates the rook. We have bishop d3, knight bc6, white castles queenside. So very, very exciting territory when uh, it's an opposite side castling game in general. Knight e5, we have bishop c2. This is a really, really interesting part of the game. <clears throat> f5 traditionally weakens this diagonal and you can expect tactics on the diagonal. And here, Stockfish seems to be a little bit on the naughty side in this position. Should it actually be tempted to take this pawn or not? In fact, Stockfish does take the pawn. It has an idea behind this. <laughs> Clearly, Bishop b3. The clever idea is the knight would be attacking the queen, except that it's pinned. We have Bishop d5 which protects the knight, interrupts the pin. So now, if e takes d5, for example, then the, the knight's not pinned, so knight takes d2. So a very, very clever tactic. So what does Leela play in this position? Is there still an opportunity on this diagonal, or has it just been parried? White's play, if I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay. Queen takes d5 check. Yes, this renews a pin actually. After knight takes d5, bishop takes c4. There's another pin on this third piece to get for the queen. So quite a bit of material for the queen. But a pawn has been taken out as well. We have king h8 being played in this position. Uh, c6 is also perhaps an alternative. Uh, that should be okay. Prospects for both sides. So king h8 though was played. Rook takes d5, queen e8, rook hd1, f takes e4, knight takes e4. White has nicely centralized pieces here, rook d8, so a very interesting imbalance. Bishop b3. Now another incredibly kind of outrageous materialistic move. Bishop takes h2 from Stockfish. You might think, well, isn't there like an open road to the king potentially? Sometimes taking these pawns is a bit dangerous, isn't it? We have bishop g5 hitting the rook, rook c8, and now bishop a4 hitting d7. Look at this crossfire of the bishops. Quite interesting, this crossfire. We have b5 being played, so trying to get a fork if taking then there's c6. Uh, so Let's have a quick look. White actually played bishop c2. If bishop takes b5, c6, this position uh, is ending up. That's a big advantage. That was check there as well. So black's ending up with a big advantage. So we have bishop c2, which targets h7. Does white have enough for the queen here? h6. Can these pieces work together or not? In fact, in this position, this h6 is completely ignored king b1 because of this h file a5 is played just to, just to put more concretely though the concept just to test it h takes rook h1 bishop d6 we would have knight h takes g5 for example and back to this dangerous diagonal and this shows black's downfall quite clearly now after rook takes d6 check and this is a disaster for black this continuation, two pieces for white extra. 
Uh, if we look at this again with g4, just taking here, and again bishop b3, returning to that diagonal is pretty lethal here. This threatens knight f6 check, and now that's winning uh, lots of material. We're getting the queen back. So yes, uh, we have a5. So leaving this bishop alone is advisable. Knight h f2. We have d6. For the same sort of reasons, yeah, it looks too dangerous to take the bishop, so it's just sitting there. Knight g4, hitting black's bishop, and now both both sides are ignoring these bishops being attacked. C6 now, but yeah, hitting the rook now in return. Now the rook is protect uh, that bishop is protecting d6 uh, from afar. Uh, so if bishop e5 had been played, then for example, this is dangerous, very dangerous. Sacking exchange, ripping through the H file like this is very nice. So uh, C6, the rook drops back, D5, and now Knight E F6, <laughs> hitting the Queen. Uh, so what is actually going on here? We have Queen G6 being played. On G takes F6, Bishop takes H6. This position is very nice. Uh, after knight eight takes h2, uh, the bishop returning back, and it's very dangerous for black. Might have a big advantage there. So queen g6, but this isn't a firing line of the bishop. This doesn't look like the ideal square. f4 supports the bishop, and means also the rook can transfer to h3 and hit the queen. Uh, we have rook takes f6. On h takes g5, then check is pretty lethal. So, for example, like this is, is crushing. So, rook takes f6, rook h3 hits the queen, discovered uh, attack against the queen. And here, Stockfish plays bishop takes f4. On queen e8, if the queen had moved to say e8, then knight takes, bishop takes, rook takes, and white's got a big advantage there. Ample material. And the bishops are running riots as well. Uh, same disaster story with Queen F7, just taking taking here. This is big advantage for White, and immediately there's a threat of Knight H6. So uh, we have Bishop takes F4, Bishop takes G6, Bishop takes F4. The smoke's cleared. Stockfish did get back a bit of material there, but is a bishop down. So this end game. Interesting, <laughs> imbalanced the end game. Bishop for three pawns. What's a good plan for White now? Rookie eight. The rook transfers. That c6 pawn is the backward pawn of the position to target. It's the one pawn which is not supported by fellow pawns, and it's the one Leela picks on with this rook transfer, doubling rooks, and now b3, which gives the king some scope for coming out. Uh, now the bishop goes to b8 there. Black might be trying to get a passed pawn at some point. The king's coming out to play. And black makes some progress to try and maybe generate a passed pawn. But now wants to progress this passed pawn and has to take out g3. So this is uh, interesting. But white is on the verge of maybe coming in via b6. And then hitting c6, and that'll be it. The bishop will be covering these two pawns. So this looks critical for Stockfish to try something. So this swapping prisoners c6 for g3. But look at this now. The bishop is actually quite good, it seems, to slow this h pawn down. And now let's look at the technique being used. So coming back for d5 for a moment. Black's pretty stuck. And high level shuffling. Yeah, it's still a bit tricky to try and win this. And it carries on. Now finally taking on d5. And there's still some work to do. And the king comes up all the way back over here to try and win this h pawn. 
<laughs> and in this third stage this b5 pawn looks to be the major target now clearly and actually the game ended here so both engines thought it was clearly winning uh now here is just a simulation for move 92 say king e6 this is a procedure example to try and win the b5 pawn uh excuse the suboptimal moves that was uh so rook d6 in this kind of critical position and then eventually b5 drops basically eventually b5 will drop and that will be much clearer for winning the game after with the past b pawn so yeah quite an interesting game posted to the Leela forums it's running right at the moment there's quite a few wins against the latest versions of stockfish from the test 30 network we've reached that uh presence time lots of presents in the new year for beating the latest stockfish it really is happening uh in these in these test games now some of you might be wondering well why isn't it happening in tournaments yet so evidently the tournaments have much greater hardware which stockfish really does scale well with the hardware so it's going to be a much tougher nut to crack in actual tournaments but as far as these casual games people are testing out stockfish is starting to lose uh, just ch check the Leela forums there's a, a load of games being posted at the moment so this could be the beginning of the end of the <laughs> AB engine era the alpha beta engine era it might be but I still suspect in tactical openings AB will dominate for a long time still in very tactical openings uh, if you enjoyed this game video then please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessbowl.net play against other youtubers you can also check the youtube analysis in advance of these games or updated analysis uh, from the improved menu learn from the masters the youtube order button there comments questions donations see the description like share subscribe with the notification bell really appreciated and also check out the new t-shirt teespring store in the description as well thanks very much